Okay, we now welcome <clears throat> on two very special guests. So so special. PFT is in his tuxedo. Yeah. They're future Hall of Looking Famers. Good. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's guys. fullback Friday. We have two legends of the game, Lorenzo Neal and Mike Allstott, future Hall of Famers. I'll say it again. We just got to get in the pipeline. Thank mm -hmm. you guys for coming here. We randomly have a, a bench press that we might have to use later. That's it's, weird. It just that's weird. Pop, it showed up. It showed morning. up today. So we have the bench press. We got the fullbacks. Um, this is the PFT most nervous he's ever been. Yeah, yeah, that's I'll, gonna be, I'll, that's I'll gonna be classic yeah. right there. What's yes. the over under on reps I can do? Because I don't even know. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say. Ten, I, I got 10. 12. That's okay. Disrespectful from both of you guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> so all I'll, we have, I'll do 15. Well, we were smart because we got the bench press, but we only have uh, 245. So you I, can't I, was go thinking, I was thinking of my uh, my reps, actually, and what, then what you beat me. Yeah. What, what do you got I was going to be 13. Out? Okay. 13? Yeah. What, do you, what do you bench right now? 225. That's a, that's the max I'll do. Yeah. Okay. I mean? just, a lot of reps. Yeah, just throw it up there yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Lorenzo? Yeah, I'm in the same wheelhouse. I don't really go that heavy anymore. 225, but I could. I mean, we had to. Me and the big fella, we could still throw it around if we want to. <laughs> yeah. But we don't do it anymore. Yeah, you know, we, we got, let the we kids got do issues. It. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that's like us. Yeah, we yeah. got all, all these. <laughs> I don't so go we for yeah. weight yeah. anymore. You go I for just, tone. <laughs> we keep it pretty tight up. We're there a health there we conscious go. podcast. There we go. Right. Right. Uh, before we get into it, because I'm gonna have some very nice things to say about both you guys. Yeah. Right. I want. I want to address an elephant in the room. Uh, Mike, I've been talking a lot of shit about you recently. Yeah. And oh. we need to we need to squash Ooh. this right now. Is it about my offense? It's about your offense that you run. You're a high school coach, <laughs> mm -hmm. and you don't use a fullback. Mm -hmm. What the oh. fuck? What the hell? Like, you're just going to turn your back? I, I, I've been coached up. You know about, about this? Here it is. I don't have no social media. And it's, uh -huh. it, I never have, and, I'm, you know, I really don't get into it. And uh, But, again... The boys from Western Michigan are filming on everything that's going on. Your and son, right? Yeah, yeah, my son and, and uh, your fan base, right? And uh, I got this last night um, from me. You better be, you better be a heads up, Dad. He's going to ask no. you about <laughs> yeah. the, the fullback. I think that's great. Yeah, yes. you don't you don't run eleven personnel. So what's up with that? I don't have the I don't have the personnel. You don't have a fullback. You no. don't have any. You can't. Just, you can't grow a like, fullback, or you can't just sneak in a pair. Well, you gotta understand. I, like, I, I I have a school of 260 kids I coach at. Okay. Right? Total enrollment, right? So I'll have 30 kids, and uh, so when my son was playing in uh, 13 to 16, right, I did have a fullback, right? I did go spread, but again, when it came into uh, when we wanted to pound the ball, I did bring a, a fullback in there. I had actually two fullbacks then, and I don't right now. So. Do you uh, have yeah. any, like, have you, like, I, I would imagine you just show up at, like, the middle school being like, that kid's going to be a fullback. Like, what, wh how do you there know? Is, there is no question. When they walk through the door to Shadow and they, they went there in eighth grader and they were right there in the office going, hey, what do you do? You play basketball? I mean, you play football? You play uh, football? You play sports? You know yeah. What I mean? What's going on? So, yes, we're uh, – we're all about the kids walking in. So what what does a fullback look like? Like what's the type? What what are the traits that need to be to a kid has to have for you to be like that's my fullback? Oh, six one two fifty. That's it. Yeah, mm. <laughs> that's <laughs> easy for like wow. a four, They're growing the right. Yeah, yeah. they're growing those. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I see those every day. What do you mean? <laughs> just, like, if you take Gronk and you just squish right. them together and compress them a little yeah. bit. Yeah, just, why don't you just take? No, a, I just need a bowling ball. Just, I just need. Yeah. I, I need an aggressive kid. You know what I mean? I need an aggressive kid to go in there and. Uh, Hit the line linebackers and uh, you know hit the end on the power and Michael, and do it. I, I never thought I'd see the day. I'm I'm so glad you brought that up that you're going to sit here and tell me you play basketball in the grass and you think you're going to win on a consistent basis. I'm just let's talk about, thank you. Uh -huh. PFT. Thank, thank you. Let's, let's, PFT. Thank let's, you. That's all. Exactly. Let's talk about this. So when I did come up with this offense, the, the first two years I was tight end, all right, and fullback, running back, right. Mm -hmm. High school they packed the box. I didn't have the personnel. So Twenty-two I had to, personnel. Right. So I had to spread them out. Right. Right, right. Spread them out. Then my qu my quarterback, who is who? My Your son. son. Uh -huh. Right. Of course. So how are you going to tailor an offense, right? You're going to tailor an offense to you know, your quarterback because obviously you want him to get notoriety and be able to do. Sorry about uh, that. You don't want that's to pay okay. for college. That's okay. That's huh? how this whole thing started. Yeah, Because yeah. you you didn't want to pay for his college. Oh no question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So That's you were, smart. Okay. So you were running up the score so that your your son could get all the stats. You were basically the, playing like the when, whole read game, the whole thing, just like everybody else is doing, right? Yeah. When you play, uh, they don't have the college football video game anymore. But I would always play, and then the first week I'd put up 15 touchdowns against you know the sisters of the poor, so I could get the Heisman. <laughs> You're doing that in real life. With your kid. Well, we're yeah, we're we're trying actually. That's the that's the goal, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's the goal. That's perfect. That is perfect. So hey. I think a lot of people don't realize that you guys used to be teammates back in the day for, like, for a hot second, right? Yeah. In the box. So when you guys were playing together, uh, who was first string? Who was second string? I was I was second on everything, and 
a backfield with me and Mike when I would be in. Well, we had we, we had packages though. Yeah, we had packages. Well, so we, we were, were the big the, boys. Rhino. We were a Rhino package. Okay. So again, if we got hot, you know, uh, work got kind of upset. Yeah. Did you guys ever go one on one? You guys ever do a little? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, work, but you did. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ever do an Oklahoma drill against each other? No. No. Pull no, in no, the no. ring. No, anything no, no. like that? Him, get on my hip, and don't, don't dip. dip. Let's ride. That's all I have to say. Dog. Yep. Call him the dog and the... piss on the fire. Let's ride. <laughs> That's right, baby. Yes. I'm in, the, I'm, I'm in the huddle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't breathe. And come on, Daddy, let's go. Get on my hip. We, we, we were – there's a great story. We were, we were playing uh, – so we'd do the – every time we'd score, we'd do the Mark McGuire, Sammy Solsa. Yeah. You know, the – yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, were, we were rolling because people didn't want to see us. I mean, Denny Green, Rest in Priest, I think they went 15 and what, two – the only game, minutes, the only game they lost was We were was three and four, and we had a win. And we played them. Mike went crazy on them. I think we had over 300, during 300 yards rushing. Oh. We just lined up, and then hardly lose a game. There. We just played smash mouth football. This guy's tongue's hanging out of his mouth, and like, let's go, buddy. Let's go. We were just running the ball down their this throat. This guy's so. hilarious in the huddle. Uh, yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, we get fired up. Yeah. What a big win for us. What's the, what's the best hit you guys ever put on somebody? Best block you ever had? Wow. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the best run against uh, Washington against um, when they ran over Springs, the Ohio State uh, DB was it Sean Spring? Springs. Sean Springs. Springs uh, yeah, yeah, wearing oh. the white compression sleeves. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, actually. you you, you get into the truck job and you said get on my back. I accidentally stepped on his chest when I ran through him. Oh, oh yeah, I, you'd stepped on a lot and of he, guys. And, and, yeah. and he asked me why'd you do that to me when we were in like a TV timeout, and I'm like. <laughs> I didn't mean to, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that was a brutal game. I remember that. Uh, you didn't get in on that two point conversion at the end of the game, by the way. Oh no, I was. You, you were stopped at the goal no, line. No, no, no. No, you were stopped no, no, at from the one. one. Yeah. From the yeah. one, right? Yeah. 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 He is on you today. Yes. He uh, is on I'm, you. You brought it. You <laughs> brought it today, Brad. You ready for it? I, I thought remember. you dressed up for us. I did. I did. But this is how I'm showing you love by letting you know that, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set a tone in this interview right now, just like you want to hit somebody first in the game. That's what I'm doing right now, showing you who the alpha is at this table. We're gonna have to come over the table. Yeah. yeah. What about the what <laughs> about the never run? Mind, never mind. What I about draw my question? What about your run against the Browns, which is like the the Mike Allstott run I always think of is that one, and it's perfect because it was like nine yards, and it was you. It wasn't a touchdown or anything, but you just basically shred everyone, just throwing people off of you. Do you remember that one? Yeah. No, I, I recall. Um, it was just you know an opportunity. I mean, I think all of, a lot of times is you know. Uh, certain situations uh, for me to get the ball was four minutes goal line and I was always a guy that needed to take care of my opportunities or otherwise I wasn't going to get it again you know what I mean so I was you know just a second third fourth fifth effort guy and that's how I always played okay and then Lorenzo I was reading up on uh, some of the old interviews you did and uh, my Uh favorite thing you said was that you're just Eddie George's doorman (laughs) <laughs> and I think that's the perfect way to describe a fullback. You're like, I'm just his doorman. I'm out there. So you you blocked for some unbelievable running backs, you know, LT, but Eddie George as well. Corey Who- Dillon, Mike, Mike Allstock, work done, all, all those guys. And everyone was so unique in so many different ways. I remember talking about a big hit. I, I think Ray Childers. I don't know if you guys remember. I'm going way back in days, my days in New Orleans. He's a defensive lineman, big, strong guy. It did a wham block. And I hit him, and it hurt me too. But he said <laughs> – I think he broke. You can read his lips. I think, I think he broke my effing arm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was it was a nice, nice hit. I mean, he sat on the ground. They had to come get him, and he was like, gave me the look, and I was like, sometimes you get the bear, sometimes the bear gets you. So gotcha. that that particular oh, yeah. one was that one. Like, oh, okay, I got that guy, and he's a he was a hell of a player. But that's it. It was about being selfish. It's about hey, you know what? You line up. You know, you go out there. And if you want to play, especially with the fullback position, you see how it's just a dying breed and they don't get the reps and get the, you know, the praise I think that they deserve. They're linemen in the backfield. And Mike was one of the elite ones because of the fact he could run, could catch, do a lot of other things that, you know, it could be a tailback slash fullback, H-back. He could do it all. He was versatile, one of the most versatile fullbacks that, you know, the game has seen. And it's just been, you know, that journey of just going out there and saying, you know what, I'm going to impose my will on you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make you quit. You are not going to stand and last for four quarters against me. That's what I thrived off of, and that's what you know kind of drove me. Is the fullback coming back though? Because I Kyle. feel like Kyle Shanahan, heck, Matt baby. Lafleur, all these guys. You know what the Patriots are doing? Yeah, it feels like a lot of offenses now not 
counting Mike Allstotts because he doesn't run with the fullback. But most, <laughs> most off. Now Mike I'm Allstotts is looking at me. And I'm scared. <laughs> Shitless. No, no, keep I it coming. It, I thought no. we had a good rapport, no. and I overstepped it. Occasionally, way too early. It's like you and uh, and Bo Pelini are two guys that we've interviewed where they'll be laughing, and then one second they'll just like straighten the right mouth out and just soul. stare at you like I might kill you. Yeah, <laughs> I think you like us, but I'm still, <laughs> yeah. but you still might murder us. But so the fullback's <laughs> coming back, right? Yeah. yeah. I, you guys got a jersey up to forty two. I like with Kansas City. He gets sure. he, he gets after it. He's yeah, boy dog. Sausage. He'll he'll bite you. He'll he'll hit you. you it's not Cal- coming back enough though. It's, it's not. not coming but back. But Cal Hughes check man, they use the fullback over fifty percent. You you don't no watch no no. I get it. There, there's there's, there's guys. certain there's certain teams. Some guys have been coaching for so long, yeah, right? Cal and, Shanahan, and, he and, loves and, it. and they got it going on, right? And right. He, he came from that tree. Yeah. Right. He came from that tree with the fullback, but you know, in, in the other the. Upcoming young offense coordinators, they're not they're not doing that, right? Well, I mean, so yeah, the Ravens still a little bit. The they're, Ravens do it. The um, the Broncos, they got Juice Check. Yeah, um, it's a new fullback. It's actually kind of like what you guys were, where you can you know catch the ball a little too, and, and it's guys more the, are dynamic. It's more, it's more the age. Yeah, it's not it's Juice more, Check. Yeah. You know, it's not the traditional like you know, hey, put you in the backfield and we know we're coming at you. Yeah, you know just what I mean? ram through holes. So. I, I think the, the success the Patriots have had, especially in the postseason over the last year, like Devlin is a big part of that short he, yardage he offense. Is. He like, is. And he is an old school fullback. He's Yeah, they'll split him out wide sometimes, but nine times out of ten his He's job coming at is you. to run directly you downhill. You know, they, but the Patriots have a great system of everybody knows their role. Right. Right? And there's nothing selfish about them. So – and I think that's what was so successful when we were the Buccaneers and stuff like that when we were making our run. We knew our role, and we knew what the heck to do for each other. You know what I mean? And they play for each other. And that's why some guys can't live in the Patriot system. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And if they do, obviously you've seen you know, recent stories on, on, on people. But, again, you, we were so you know, unselfish in, in a lot of our manners. Like when your time came, you had to make opportunity of it, and that's how my story is. You know what I mean? When I got the ball, I wanted to, you know, do it for my team more so than the stats or whatever it was that I needed to do. And it just came about because we worked so hard together. Mm-hmm. Did you, when you guys played the Super Bowl against the Raiders, did you know all the plays beforehand? <laughs> Rudin was doing two-minute drill on, on, on Friday. I've watched a clip of that before this interview. He was yeah. running as Rich Gannon. He, he was doing Gannon. And we, when we go over two-minute on Fridays, he was doing there. He, he'd take everything, yeah. call out everything, call out every freaking play and everything like That's that. That's crazy. Dink and dunk. And, and he was actually – and he's the first time that ever happened. You right. Know? Yeah. Um, that was only his first year. But uh, I've never seen him in my six years with him to do that. But, uh, yeah, he was calling exactly everything that was going on. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. John Lynch said it was so easy. He said that Super Bowl was like – I was like, I cannot believe they're doing everything that Gruden said. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. That's nuts. I mean, you could feel it once the game started Start. getting out of hand, but yeah. it is very weird to have that situation where a coach leaves one team and goes right to the other, and then they meet in the Super Bowl, and we saw by the final result. What was the final score? It was like five. Uh, too remember. much to too little. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I don't know. It's back in the day when Super Bowls yeah. sucked. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. Was, there was like a good ten year run where it's like nobody should watch the Super Bowl because it's gonna be a twenty point blowout. Yeah, like the one time, now it's like the Super Bowls are interesting. The one that was good in that run. Mm. I mean, we should really don't, bring no. it up. <laughs> do you, how do, how often in a given year do you see Kevin Dyson reaching for the goal line? But they show it too much. You know that that's just that breaks my heart just yeah. watching it. You know, you all that work, hard work, and. Yeah. One yard too short. It's it's crazy because two weeks ago he was a hero, the mm-hmm. Music City Miracle, which I, you yeah, started. Yeah, let's, let's talk yeah. about that yeah. real quick because I don't yeah. think people give back. you. I think that was yeah. a four pass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew just because you're not using a fullback, don't start. Don't start. We had people, Coach Fisher yeah. in here. He yeah, pulled, yeah, okay. Let's, yeah, like the the signature play, you could almost make an argument that your signature play over your career was the Music City Miracle in the way that you started. You so looked get, pretty athletic there that? throwing that ball, buddy. Yeah. Don't, don't start, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> don't start. It's not becoming of you. Now, you know, it was. It, it, we call it the home run throwback, but now it, it's a.k.a. the Music City Miracle. But uh, it was something that I remember we got the huddle. We practiced every – it's not a Friday that didn't go by that we did not practice that. It's every single Friday we practiced that. And on Fridays, though, and Saturdays when you practice it, you know, you don't have pads. Right. So, actually, I could catch it, and I could actually throw the pass all the way across. And I didn't want to take all the credit that day on that su- Sunday afternoon. And I was like, you know what? Let someone else have it. Give it to him. Uh, so, no, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, listen, I, you can get, find, get Frank Wycheck in here. Yeah. They huddle up. We huddle up. Lowry calls the play. We're going to do this. Dyson's not even supposed to be on there. It, it's supposed to be Ike Bird. Mm-hmm. Ike's hurt, so he can't do it. The next is supposed to be Derek Mason. He's got a concussion. He can't go. He was like the last guy who's never hardly even practiced at Dyson. 
So when we called the huddle, said we're gonna do it, home run throwback, aka Music City Miracle. Everyone huddles up. We tell we're gonna do the play. It's gonna be on. I go to Frank Wycheck, sidebar conversation. I said, Frank, they're gonna kick this ball to me. Come get it. I said, I'm gonna catch it. And I said, they're gonna kick it to me. Watch and you come get it. I didn't tell everyone else because then people start looking. Like, it's gonna switch switch exactly. Yeah, right. Now my job switch, my role switch. So Frank's the only one that I told on that, Mike. And I freaking. It's like slow motion. I said, like, oh, my God, the ball's coming. I was trying to keep make sure the elbows are nice and tucked. I said, like, I got to please do not drop this because I have a lot of drops. You know, I could sometimes I had hands like Roberto Duran, hands of stone. <laughs> and so, uh, shoot, comes. Sure enough, the ball comes to me. Take a couple steps. Why check? Still hand it back, pitch it back to him. Yeah. And crank up the band. And, and Coach make Fisher, a block. yeah, so we've had Coach Fisher on a couple times. He said the same thing that you guys practice it. And that Dyson, the reason why it was so close to a forward pass was because Dyson was not supposed to be there. Exactly. And he didn't know exactly where he should be standing. Ex that's which absolutely right. Nice. That's awesome, yeah. though, when it works out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's awesome. awesome. And, it's awesome. And, and I've thought the same thing watching it. I just always assumed that you handed the ball back because you said you'd rather block on a play than, like, throw a pass. Hey, how, man, how, brother. Old, how old were you when that happened? Uh, what, what year was that, 96? No, 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 you 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 do a the five single knuckle shuffle at that time? Did you uh, start that already? That or was no? after the game. Yeah. Oh, after, that was after oh, the oh. game. Yeah. Oops. No, this was uh, <laughs> this is when I still thought I might be able to be a fullback as a, as my profession growing yeah. up uh, yeah. until I stopped growing <laughs> horizontally and vertically. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so so Lo, that was probably your signature play, and, and we've been talking a little bit. Uh, I know there's been a lot of chatter about your campaign for the Hall of Fame. I think I think both you guys should be in the Hall of Fame. It's been a while since a true fullback. They're gonna split has, both. Has gotten in. That's the that's the issue. Mm. Like. Mike, you're more of a – you would be more of a halfback than a fullback, I guess, if you were to put on your highlight reel and say, okay, these are Mike Allstott's best plays, right? It's you dancing, running through people, having insanely fast feet as you're, as you're also running people over. And, lo, your highlight reel would be you just knocking the piss out of people. So it's like you are both fullbacks, but you're two different types of fullback. And I don't want you to split votes, so we got to figure out a way. Like, how do, we, how do we figure out who's getting in the Hall of Fame here? For me personally – I don't care if Mike gets in. I don't care if Moose Johnson gets in. I don't care if Larry Sinners get in. I think there should be a, a, a fullback in the Hall of Fame. I think if you look at Moose Johnson, you look at guys like Sam Gash, you look at you know even Corey Schlesinger, a guy that I loved in Detroit who you know didn't block a lot, but when he got in, he made guys apologize. Sam Gash would get down to William Floyd. There's a lot of guys. Tommy Rathman, you've seen you know the what he brought to the game. Uh, you know, I, I look at it and I'm just like, I just think that there has been, they let red guy, you let punters and stuff in. It should be a fullback, should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Mike's deserving. Moose Johnson's deserving. You go and you play, you know, double digit years. You go out there, you block, you're putting it on the line. Sam Gash, go look at highlight reels of that guy, what he did. Max Schrum, what he did in Seattle. I mean, there's a lot of guys that don't get the credit. Mm -hmm. So for me personally, yeah, I know. I, you know, I got the shirts and stuff, and T-shirts and campaign, and all the different things. But uh, you got for going me, on, brother. I, 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 no, I, honestly, I'd, I'd be happy if, if you were in. I, I, it well, would be. I, I think the one thing is though, it's like, you know, the people that are in are always the superstars. You don't see the role players, right? The guys that are taking care of, you know, paving the way, doing the doing the small things behind the scenes, right. you know, for you know the statistic guys. You know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right. And remember, it's a team game. You need all 11, right? Absolutely. Uh, to win it and, and, and at one given time. So that's what this whole thing, you know, that we're talking about is, hey, why are we or being forgotten just because we don't have the 10,000 yards rushing and we don't have the gazillion touchdowns or we don't have this or we don't have that. You know what I mean? What we're if, there each and every day. And, we put, and the thing is, I think so. We did it the right way. You know what I mean? We put our hearts and souls and, and, and passion and, and, and did it the right way and, and stayed out of trouble and everything that was possible to do to live our dreams. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and, and make sure that we're out there. And when we were out there, we made sure we were going to get out there awfully fast. You know right. what I mean? If there was some type of injury. And that, that's, that's the one thing that I think that is being forgotten a lot, a lot of times when we're talking about, you know, you know when, you, when you're an NFLer, you know what I mean? Yeah. A true NFL. Well, why, why don't we just get the fullback position? is in the Hall of Fame. So it's oh. like everyone, wouldn't that be the ultimate fullback where you guys all don't take personal credit, you just take credit for the position, and then we induct just the position as itself? Yeah, yeah. No, you all get gold jackets. 
Boom. Oh, done. I, I like that idea. That's, that's right. You solved it. Because oh, then you guys can do a speech and be like, you, look, Mike can go up and be like, you know what? I don't want to take credit. I'll let Lo talk. And then Lo goes up and is like, I don't want to take credit. I'll let Moose talk. And then you guys just go mm-hmm. around and around for like five and it hours. Last and it three hours. Still, it, it will last still three be hours better than we'll Ray have Lewis. enough time to have the after yes, party. It'll be better than <laughs> right? Ray Lewis's oh, my speech. God. Yeah. 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 There it is. That's yeah. the idea. Yeah. I love it. Um, I had a question. We were talking beforehand. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lorenzo, you your son goes to Purdue. Mike, you went to Purdue. Why do you guys not like fun? Why we don't like what? Fun. 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 You went F-U-N. to Purdue. His Mike's fun. looking like Lorenzo. he's going to kill us again. Yep. I'm, I'm just going to do that every few minutes. <laughs> like Just be like, get him back. You fun. don't like fun. You, Mike, you don't... You don't like fun, and you don't want your son to have fun, so you sent him to Purdue. Mike had a lot West of fun. Lafayette. My, 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 yeah. Mike, Mike is Mike actually had, confused. Like, no, no, he college had, was awesome. Mike, <laughs> hey, talking about? Hey, Mike had some. <laughs> Mike had some fun at Purdue. I got. Uh, I, I met some people at Purdue, and is it true, Mike, that you used to uh, train by pushing your Jeep yes. at, at the practice fields at Purdue? Uphill. Jesus no Christ. Pills. In the snow. <laughs> would, Uphill in the snow. Would there be anybody cheerleaders in the it, G, All the cheerleaders in the Jeep. Would somebody be yes. in the driver's seat? Ready yeah, to get so the uh, Jamie Washell, my defensive lineman. So we after leg day, we'd go back. So after, the, wait, after, after leg, leg day, day yeah. you'd, you'd push your Jeep. Yeah, so there was a parking lot that was uh, for the band, right? Uh-huh. It was all uh, marked out, painted the parking lot. Band camp? It's, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. For... Uh, uh, field, you know, 100 yards field, and, and it actually had a little slope going and going one way. So he would get in, we would turn up like Metallica, Led Zeppelin, whatever, and freaking get after it, right? And push it, push all the way up, all right? Next person would turn around, and we would just switch off and keep on doing it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's that's wow. a stereotype for a fullback, but I fucking love it. Yeah, no, I love it. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you, did you also train with tires? I've read something about you, like, what did you so do with tires? I actually started pushing a pushing um, a station wagon in um, in, in high school. Mm-hmm. So that's where it started from. And then I had the Jeep when I went to college. But we'd actually have a uh, down the cornfields we're at everything, and then all of a sudden there's cornfields. So we actually used to go from telephone pole to telephone pole pushing it. And then when we was uh, when I was in um, high school, I used to have tires and run 40 yard dashes in my yard and, and I have a, like just a strip of no grass because that's where the tires were every day. Jesus. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, what, what about, about yeah. yeah. What about you, Lo? What, what did you do to train? You know what? I, I, me, I just picked up pigs and bucked hay and you know, <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm a country boy. I'm, yeah, I'm from the farm. I'm from a town called Lemoore, California. You, pick, you just picked up pigs, <laughs> picked them up, yeah, put I them cut, down. I, yeah. I ate pig, a lot of pig balls, ate a lot of pig nuts. <laughs> mountain, oh, mountain, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Mount, mountain oysters. When you, you get a chance to come out there, you come out to, you come out to, Central Valley down there to Leemore, California. Uh-huh. And I'll take you out there to form. I've Pe- eaten a couple nuts. Yeah, I've had Absolutely. some Rocky Mountain oysters. Yeah, right, yeah. So you cut them. You throw a little oil in there, and you, you make sure you clip them. Make sure you put a little little kind of rubber rubber band for them to bleed, bleed out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I'm yeah. telling you how you Massage do it. Them. <laughs> Treat and them and up. Absolutely. So and yeah. So I so you'd have to and we'd give them the shot. So you had to grab these pigs and wrestle them. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm wrestling pigs. I had to get up every morning at, believe it or not, 4.30 every morning. You know he's an all-American wrestler. Right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, he beat pigs. Down. That's how he, he wrestled the sumo wrestler. Yeah. yeah. And beat milk, them. Milk cows. I had to do it all. But I'm a buck hay. You get, have to get that hook. Boom, boom. You don't use your back. You blow your back out. So I, I every day I'd run for 150 yards, 16 tackles a game average. <laughs> And, and and then I have to get up the next morning. My dad, it's on Saturday, my dad say, rise and shine. Those pigs don't care how many yards you ran for today, boy. Get up. Let's go. Those pigs need picking up. Yeah, absolutely. Like what, what, for what reason were you picking up the pigs? Because if you have to give them shots, you got to move them to different pins. They got to monitor. Just transport just moving pigs around. Absolutely. I like, I like it. And, yeah, and calves, heard. calves, you know, that you got to, when, when the mom, when the babies, when the moms have the babies, uh-huh. you got to get the calves out because it's cold. They'll freeze outside. Mm. So you got to bring them in and put them in a little stall and give them milk. So you're doing a lot of uh, I'll Let's tell you, go I'd, like go to, I'd go to I'd go to school. He just read this on the internet. He just read this on the internet. I mean, it's it's great because it is. We there's <laughs> there, well there's there's kind of like this story of every fullback and having these you know pushing jeeps, yeah, picking John, up pigs. It's like but, John Henry. Yeah, but what what have you guys have obviously talked to other fullbacks? It feels like everyone has one of these stories. The most blue collar position there is. Mike Corny does it. He did the same thing. Mike looked up to you so much, Mike Corny. He's pushing cars, doing the same thing that you did, you know, because it's just it's crazy. Guys would contact us. You, <clears throat> you guys would contact me. God, I want to be like you, Vontae Leach. All these yeah. guys, they'll contact us, pick up the phone. Tony Richardson's a great fullback too. Didn't, didn't want to wanted to mention him as well, but uh, it's crazy because a lot of them that's just that's hardworking guys. Yeah, it's awesome. 
Yeah. It's awesome. You know, it, yeah. it's, uh, there wasn't modern day technology as there is now. You know what I mean? You go in one warehouse and you get, and you get to do it all. We had to be creative. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it, yeah. it must be crazy walking into like college facilities now and seeing the weight room and seeing yeah, all this sick. stuff. It's sick. insane. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. We would still you, be playing. If we would came, if the way <clears throat> that the NFL and stuff is now, you can only be in pads 16 days during the season. So you only pad it up 16 days, bro. That that's nothing. Only can go to, that is not even a whole season. You're only talking about pads only mm. twice, 16 times and 16. So that's nothing. Mm. Right. Uh, the so he, he's three camp, years older than me. When I was at Purdue, we went three days. Jeez. Three days. So we had individual, right, in, in, in uppers, right? We came back for offense, defense, about an hour, hour and a half after that. And then we had lunch, nap, and came back for a full scrimmage every day. That every day. Crazy. That sounds so annoying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what right. the way it was. But, but while, when I went, when while I, you were playing, you probably I, hated it, right? No, because I was doing what I want, love to do. I didn't know you any better. You don't know any better, right. I didn't know yeah. any better. There, was, there wasn't no talk of, oh, well – Indiana down the streets, you know, they're going, you know, one a day and they're in pads. It, was, it wasn't heard of, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When I was with Dungey, we, we had the pads on every day. Every day when I came in the league, you know, there was nothing, there was, nothing was heard of like that. Yeah, right. yeah. What was that transition like between Dungey and, Night and, day. and John Gruden? Because I can't think of two people that are less alike than those guys. Night and day. Night and day. Was there like a transition where when uh, when Gruden comes in, you're like, holy shit. No guy, cussing one day, the cussing every day. <laughs> and then every word is, is saying, fuck, man. No, you, you saw it. Yeah. yeah. On uh, Hard Knocks, right? Yeah. I mean, so. Dungey didn't have to say much. Dungey just Dun- Dungey, Dungey, Dungey had the look. He, right. right. The only knew. time Dungey ever got fired up is when his own players fought on the practice field. Interesting. And it's only happened probably, you know, less than a handful of times and in my career that they fought and he'd kick him off the field and he got furious. Really? It, we actually had John Lynch on and he said that you were told that you two couldn't hit each other in practice because you hit each other harder than anyone's ever been hit. So that was with Herm Edwards. Okay. When Herm, excuse me. When Herm Edwards was uh, the DB coach, all right? So uh, he, uh, I guess, you know, after talking to John that I was a clavicle breaker. So don't hit him. So <laughs> oh, you guessed you were a clavicle breaker. <laughs> well, I mean, I, well, I, it seems like you're, you were you walking around being like, damn, all these guys are going on IR after they hit me. No, but really, I mean, we were really probably, you know, less than two or three times really right. made contact, you know, in practice, you know, because obviously he's going to come in the box and he wants to pop people and stuff like that. But, and both of uh, them are crazy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he told you don't do that anymore? You guys don't hit each other anymore? No, Herm told him yeah. don't hit him. Don't. Oh, so he it was uh, for his protection. Yeah. Well, way, no. The yeah. way he made it seem was like you guys were both not allowed to hit each no, other. No, uh, you know, at the time he would come up to me and says, you know, I can't come down in the box, blah, 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 and, and, and do that. But, yeah, I mean, after a while, you know, after my rookie year, you know, I, you know, I had something to prove. You know, my rookie year, just like – <laughs> Every other rookie, when we're, you know, right. 10, 12 years in the league, we're like, hey, that dude's trying, you know what I mean? I'll make hey, a team. Settle down, young boy, right? Right. Um, but anyway, it's uh, it was just something that just came about. And I guess those conversations were between Herm Edwards and, and, and John. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Going to put you guys both on the spot here. Tough, tough decision for fullbacks. Cowboy collar or neck roll? Cowboy. Neck roll. Oh, oh trouble in paradise! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, what? What? Link? I should have brought you a neck roll. What, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah uh, I'm, a neck roll and a tuxedo would have been. That is true. Yes. I got yeah, cowboy yeah. collars coming for you guys. Okay. Yeah, nice. Okay. So what? What was the decision making like when you were get when you get assigned your shoulder pads? Mike, you in particular, you're like, let me get this big ass fucking thing that covers up my entire helmet. Uh, it was just, it was just my. Uh, outfit my whole life uh-huh. you know what i mean i had in college i had in high school i actually had the horseshoe one you know what i mean <laughs> the actual horseshoe that f- laid out and it had to be all taped up and and uh when it got all ripped up but um and then yeah i had a uh, similar situation like i had in the pros in college and then it just evolved i don't know it just evolved you're just Nothing, comfortable in it yeah and so you just never change it yeah yeah so we are in the times of the Half jerseys too and stuff oh, like that. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? show the abs. All that time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ezekiel Elliott before Ezekiel. Yeah. yeah, right, right. Yeah, um, Lorenzo, I wanted to do a quick uh, run through because you played for so many teams. Obviously, Mike played just for the Bucks, but you played for so many teams. You had so many different coaches. So I wanted to list all the coaches and give me something about all these guys because there's football guys through and through. 
on your coach list. So you start with Jim Mora. Ooh. Can you also tell me, as a side, what was the locker room like after the famous diddly poo soundbite? Oh, Jim Moore was unbelievable. I remember uh, he called me in, broke my ankle. I was, I was, believe it or not, I was leading the league in rushing first two games. I was just two games, Mike, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> averaging about ten yards a tote. And uh, I remember breaking the ankle, and he's like, "Look, you know." You're good, but you come back the next year. You just got to concentrate, being a fullback. You can make a good living doing this. You can play some years. Just uh -huh. let it go. So I remember sitting down with him and going over that. And then, shoot, two years later, we're in a team meeting. And we just lost, and we were on a, we, we were the Aints. That's when we became the Aints. And I had Sam Mills, Ricky Jackson. So I got brought up at baptism by fire. Those guys would try to kill me at practice. Shoot, Ricky Jackson brought a knife one day. I was scared of him. Called him daddy. Called my mom to come stay with me for two weeks. He, uh, but Jim Moore, we're in the, we're in the friggin' team meeting Monday after the game, and he gets up, stands up, and he said, "Guys, just just uh, I'm not having fun. I'm done." Walks out in the room. I, I was there. So I think about I, I was there when Jim Moore quit, walked out yeah. of the room, just had a breakdown, and just quit. Think about. 53 other guys in a room and your head coach comes up on a Monday in the whole team meeting, talks for a bit. See you later. Yeah, see you, bye, and walks and exit, the, exit stage left and walks out. Damn. What happened? Yeah, you want, you, that's a cliffhanger. That's a tease. Yeah. But I can't tell you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, all right, so then Parcells in New York. Hucking and bucking. Parcells, that's, <laughs> what, that's, that's his favorite. Hucking and bucking. Uh, hey, Neil. Hey, Neil. Hey, Lorenzo. Hey, come on. He's, and the guys would fight at practice. Like, yeah, you guys stop fighting. One of you is scared, another one's glad of it. I mean, <laughs> love Bill Parcells. <laughs> okay, uh, we talked about Dungy. You had Jeff Fisher in, in Nashville. Hey, man, how are you guys doing? Uh, you know what? <laughs> we can get this together. We, hey, Eddie, we're going to run the ball. Hey, Steve, you got it. Hey, guys, we got this. You know Jeff, soft-spoken yeah. Jeff Fisher. You know, smooth. Right, mm -hmm. right. Uh, Dick LeBeau in Cincinnati. I love Dick. All-time I mean, football yeah. guy. Yeah. Clip that, Hank. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoops. I mean, I mean, Dick LeBeau. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's fine. You got that cut. You got that cut. You got this. We're good, dude. Oh, you are. You're good. <laughs> we actually, this, he's like, I love this. He's like, I just got him. Yeah. You got that? Yeah, yeah. We're sex positive podcast. It's fine. He would come. Love is love. He would come in camp, and he would come in a Superman outfit and a Speedo. I mean, that's why I love Dick. He's just freaking, I mean, just to get guys going. He was Twice. one of the. How old is he? I, I yeah. feel like Dick yeah. LeBeau's always been Coach 90 LeBeau. years old. Coach yeah. LeBeau. I mean, yeah. how, <laughs> he's 70 some years old and he's still yeah. able to get the defense. He was yeah. play up, get up. I mean, yeah. think about it. Yeah. And then Marty Schottenheimer last at the Chargers. Man, I, guys, we got it. I mean, he would cry more than. <laughs> That's a football guy move, though. Huh? Oh. If, as long as you, like Dick Vermeil, same way. Where, oh, him and Dick Vermeil. I don't know yeah. who cried more. He, we all, the team would start crying. We didn't know what he was crying about. Marty <laughs> cried so much, we don't start crying. <laughs> but he cried about football. Yes, so yes. Then, it's, then it works. Love Marty Schottenheimer. Yes. Chargers should have never got rid of him. Marty Schottenheimer yep. really, really built that place. Yeah. yeah, he got a bad deal in San bad Diego deal. and a bad deal in D.C. too. When he bad took deal. him back from, I think they were 0-5 and, and they finished the season 8-3 and three on, yeah. a, on a tear. And then he goes out <clears> to <throat> San Diego and they fired him when he went, what? 14-2. 14-2. 14-2 they fired him. That's yeah. nuts. Him and eight, it was nuts. Mm -hmm. He broke up a dynasty. What was it? What, well, well. Could have been a dynasty. Yeah, yeah, I was just saying. Oh, yeah. ah, I'm, okay, what, what, a little too soon. What was it about those teams, though, not being able to get over the humps? Because those Chargers teams were fantastic and just couldn't couldn't finish the deal. We just beat the the, the, the team that we just knew was just us. We just beat the friggin' the Colts. They were undefeated, 13-0. We go in there, beat them. We have a bye. We're going to play the Patriots. We, Patriots, we have – Beat. Go look at the tape. LT has door near 100 yards, carries the ball 15, 12 times in the first half, touches it four in the second. We're winning that game. Ron McCree catches an interception with four minutes left. He tries to run it back. We're winning. Just fall down. And he tries to run it back, and he fumbles it he back fumbles and, gives, it? and gave them the ball back, and we lose that game. That year was just – we were sick. We were sick. That's a year that – and then the, the Colts end up winning the Super Bowl. Right. We're, we had their number. That's one. The following year, we go back to the FC Championship – I'm just coming off. I broke my leg. We didn't play in, in that game. LT was coming off a knee injury. Michael Turner. So we were just. What year was this? Phil man? Rivers had his Phil ACL. ACL. So we just. Played with an ACL. Played with it. What year was it? You're yeah. on it. You, you, yeah, exactly. it was what crazy. Year? 2005, six. Yeah. So we had yeah. those years. It was just unfortunate. The football gods just didn't like us. So in, in that same backfield, it was you, Michael Turner, Sproles. LT, and Darren Sproles. And Darren Sproles. That's crazy. 
crazy. There was there was also I th- I saw something online a couple of weeks ago that was basically like the greatest team to never make the playoffs, and it was I think maybe the two thousand four no, Chargers. It was, it was later. It was like two thousand eleven. Oh, okay, they had right. by far the best offense right. and the best. But you guys defense. were yeah. awesome in those early odd years. Yeah, man, and did you ever? Who's your quarterback? Phil no, and, and and Breezy. Yeah. Breezy. Yeah. Breezy. Is that the year he got hurt? Yeah. The, yeah. One year he got hurt, and then Philip inserted Philip. I mean, you ever hear Philip Rivers cuss? Never. Philip was Philip does not cuss. Gosh darn it, smack! I mean, he just always just a good old country boy. Gracious yeah. to Pete is what yeah. I yeah, he says he, a lot of. he does not cuss. The guy is crazy. All he is is a baby making machine. He's yeah. on number nine. I just saw it's him crazy. last week. He's, yeah. I'm like, you're gonna have ten? He said, I'm thinking about it. I said, give mama, let her come up for air every yeah. now and then, yeah. Philip. What's the what's Jeez. the huddle like when you're down in like the fourth quarter with Phil Rivers? They, he just starts screaming. God, just get lined up. He just he's he's so animated. Sometimes he sometimes he seems like he's gonna pass out because he's just. Mm-hmm going he's so animated and he wants to you know wants to win and he's just a gunslinger man he's a he's a gunslinger he has so much heart pizzazz and yeah i was lucky to play with both of them him and breeze mm-hmm. you know aka breezes <clears throat> um i remember drew drew was in the huddle when we were playing the chicago bears and marty said hey we got gonna give you one more series and i got the call from aj they're gonna go with the young guy and i was with breeze and i said man just freaking leave i said quit looking over your shoulders and freaking go and do what we know you can do guys believe you so let's go and he goes out and freaking come back. We beat Chicago. He holds it down to starter that whole time. And at that moment, you don't think anything. And then, you know, he comes out with the book and he mentions that particular that particular moment. That's you just cool. never know yeah. that yeah. anything you say, sometimes guys take take notice. That's awesome. That was cool. It, was there a, a change that you had to make in your game depending on who you were blocking for, the different styles of running back? Because you guys blocked for some of the great ones. Yeah, uh, guys guys like Corey Dillon, you need to hurry up and get make the block right away and try to go and just get him and just move him right away because he, he wants to get it. Corey Dillon, friggin' or not, he'll run into you. Mm-hmm. Eddie George, you wanted to make sure too. Ladanian, you just got in front of him. Hell, you could fall down on his uh, when he broke the record. Hell, he's running 70 toss. I fall down. Safety's right there. He makes him miss. Still gets an end zone. Makes me look good. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, some certain certain guys just had such yeah, a there, unique there's ability. A, there's a different running back. Yeah. There's there's a slow to go guy, and there's a guy that's gonna hit it right hit the away. hole. You know what I mean? So you got to get in the hole. Mike, mm-hmm. did you have a strategy to uh, make sure that work done got tackled inside the two so that you could get his <laughs> touchdown? I'm the vulture, you know, the <laughs> touchdown vulture. Yeah, you're lucky you the about? fantasy football huh? wasn't that big back uh-huh. then. People would have hated yeah, you. You would have been <laughs> public. You guys see the ESPN yes. take on that? No yeah. way to say. Look it up. I'm a touchdown vulture. Yeah. 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 Work was <laughs> sitting yeah. there talking about that. Yes. <laughs> yes, you were. You're the original vulture, for sure. Um, I had a question for you, Mike. The Today's NFL, it's always interesting to see guys are now asking to be traded, saying they want new deals. You had famously Warren Sapp in 2003, who always would say, "If anyone needs a you know defensive lineman, come come call me." And essentially, like looking for a new deal. What does that do to a locker room when that when that happens? Well, it wasn't that. If that happened, I never heard about it. You know what I mean? At the time, it wasn't like publicized. There was no social media going all over, and no people weren't tweeting it and doing what they do now and talking. You know, behind their phones and their social media, a, a, as the players do now. I mean, right. It's more say, hey, going up to the coach and and, and and talking about it. But you know, I really never experienced that too much. You know what I mean? Because again, we we kept our group of of core. You know, for geez, eight, ten years. You know what I mean? Until they did. Um, you know, didn't sign up uh, Lynchy because he had a neck situation, and he went and played on for Denver and, and, and the Patriots for what four or five more years and right. killed it, right? And then he had Sap take off, and then. But the, the main guys pretty much stayed there, you know, pretty much the whole time. So it wasn't really ever a distraction in our locker room because we controlled our locker room so well. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And it was more hard. It was more, and, and, and Lo Neal knows, it was more, um, it was harder for a player to come in and play our type of football and be a part of our internal, you know, uh, team than it was for, you know, for us to go out. You know right. what I mean? Right. The locker room was just freaking solid. unbelievable. We solid, if you talk about it. And, we controlled it. The coaches didn't have to get involved. You know, we had our private meetings. You know, when we didn't do things the way it should have been done, and and uh, you know, Rondé was part of that core two group too. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, some other guys. And like I said, you know, in our, in our day, with the Bucks, everybody knew the role, and everybody took it, you know, very serious. Mm-hmm. What about you, uh, Lokes? You were in so many different. Yeah, I was going to say I was going to yeah, ask that. Probably on have that. a different it, perspective. It did definitely different perspective. Uh, uh, shoot. 
where do you start? I mean, I was with the Saints, and it was totally different. I mean, I had guys that, you know, I came in in 93, and Frank Warren's outside smoke. It's 120 degrees. I'm like, hey, we got practice an hour. Don't worry. <laughs> shut up, Rook. Get out of here. I mean, these guys, the Dome Patrol, it was a, just a different era of football. I mean, these guys were just – the weights, they didn't care about weights. They just go out and just go dominate. And I'm like, wow, you guys don't lift. And it's just, it was totally a different era. And then from Cincinnati that, you know, Dick was Dick LeBeau, great coach. But, you know, you had guys didn't want to win, didn't care anything about winning, didn't care anything about it. It's just their stats and getting paid. You know, San Diego was a, a great place where Marty had the culture. Tennessee was great with Jeff Fisher and guys kind of policed themselves. But seeing so many different personalities. And you see, you know, when North came to San Diego, you knew that, he wasn't a leader necessarily a man, a phenomenal offensive coordinator, mm -hmm. but guys knew that they could do whatever. He wasn't going to say anything, and you start to see the team just kind of start to dwindle because of the fact he just put it on the players. And certain certain teams and certain guys, especially in, in, that, that in certain eras, you can't do that because men need to have discipline. They need to have structure in their lives. How mm -hmm. quickly into a game would you know that you were about to take somebody's soul, like that they didn't want to hit you anymore? Um, you know, I'm I'm thinking back on, yeah, thinking on, 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 on some yeah. uh, individual <laughs> games. Um, you know, it's just especially early in my career, we had you know, we we needed the running game, right? Mm -hmm. We we had the defense, and we're gonna win either six to three or nine to six or whatever because we had we had the defense, and we really didn't have you know both sides of, uh, of the attack you know we didn't have the passion and, 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 but when big 10 football yeah no question and we we needed to pound the ball especially you know <clears throat> we're talking he was talking about the minnesota game in 1998 right and they're coming in seven no we're in three and we're three and four and they're coming in our house and you know they're on all high and we needed we needed it was a must win for us and it was whoever was going to punt was going to lose mm -hmm. but you know we were just pounding the ball pounding. right pounding it and they did not want us they knew we were running 96 power row down their throat and we were going to do it each and every time, right? And again, you you feel it. You feel that energy. You feel that you know they don't want it, and they're going to step back. You know when when low comes and blocks them, and I'm coming in the hole, or vice versa. You know what I mean? Um, you 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 can no no question. You can feel that that, that sensation of 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 what they're going to you know how they're feeling right now. And they mm -hmm. and they would try to they wouldn't want to tackle him. We we're playing that game, and I was going downhill and Rudd Rudd start jumping out of the way. So you you know you get ready to block him, and it's just you and that guy in the hole. You can see the whites of his eyes, and just opens up, and you're like, here we go. And all of a sudden, he'll fall down, or he'll try to take an angle, try to slip you, and try to get by you. Like, all right, they don't want anymore. And you see guys trying to tackle him, jump on his back, or jump to the side, hit him. In the so you start to see the way that they try to take you on. You, you just know. don't see the physical aspect of the game right. anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't you, you don't you don't see that aspect of coming straight downhill. You know, we're going to run between the tackles and here we come. Stop us. You know what I mean? And stop us and, and we we're going to pose our will on you. Um you just don't see that anymore. It's more trick or dicker doc. How who's going to what trick plays you're going to do and how are we going to do it and stuff like that. And uh, that's more you see nowadays. Yeah. 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 Um <clears throat> so I I I'd have to imagine the famous Warren Sapp versus Mike Sherman when he said put a jersey on. Did you guys just repeat that all the time in the locker room? Because it's one of my favorite lines of all time. Really? And it wasn't pre-social media, so it didn't go like viral the same way. But I remember watching that game and Warren Sapp just yelling at him, put a jersey on, put a jersey on, um, because he was mad about a dirty hit. Did that Yeah, when he, when he – uh with uh, Chad Clifton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah on, he lit on, him up. On, on, on the interception run back. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, put a jersey hit, on. Hit him pretty good? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, hit know, him real he, good. He did the whole crack back type oh. of thing. Yeah, and, Mike Sherman and, uh, came up to him I after. I think uh, Shelton Corals is taking it back to the house. And, yeah. Uh, he, he, yeah. And Mike Sherman came up to him after in the post game and was yelling at him, saying it was dirty. And, and they were in sap, which just kept on saying, head, "Put a jersey on, put a jersey head on." on Fifty yard line, yeah. I fucking love the put a jersey. Yeah. It's just fun. <laughs> you just tell people like, "Hey, yeah. put a jersey on." <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I don't think do there's this? any repeat. I don't know. Maybe the Damn. the defense a lot. Right, so the I defensive did. guys really controlled the locker. Room, yeah, you know what I mean. And when it came to the clowning around and and yeah. all the Defense. all the talk, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know I mean, they you could hear them coming from a mile down the hallway, you know what yeah. I mean? And <laughs> just on each other. I mean, they they would get so freaking personal on each oh. other, and it, it would start some wars. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you that right now. I'd imagine with Warren Sapp, he he has that oh, no, effect he, on people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he'll he, he turn in, you. Yeah. Know, he'll get you. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you know, and again, but again, Warren's the type of guy that you know, he's in your corner though. You know I mean, he he's gonna come to battle with you. You know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong. He's gonna he's gonna stir the pot 
but again, he's gonna he's gonna be he's gonna be right next to you in, in, in that battle on that field. Yeah. So. If there's uh, if there's one guy playing the game right now that you look at and you say this guy could have been a fullback in the mid to late '90s, early 2000s, back when you guys were running people over, who is it? Who's that guy right now? You know, truthfully, um, say nobody. Please say nobody. No, 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 no. I I don't watch the game enough, right? I really don't. You know, what I mean, I'll, I'll go through. I'll, I love watching red zone going back and forth and, and, and doing that where I'll be at the at the Bucks games and stuff like that. But um, I'm like so into my high school football, you know what I mean? I'm like so crazy about it and trying to get my own kids prepared and stuff like that. I'm not really a guy that who got stats. I don't do fantasy football. I don't do any of that stuff. You know, I'm just all about, you know. Neither do we. In, in my uh, right? no, we don't. No, no Hank does. Fantasy. Yeah, for nerds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I agree. But I, I just, I just we don't know. I, I just Madden. don't. Yeah, I just don't know all the players in in, in uh, today's game. Yeah, I, I, like like we used to know back in the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just it seems like everybody's moving, shaking, leaving, coming, going, and everything like that. You know what I mean? It just. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if you know. I mean, you, 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 you're in radio. Yeah, 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 you're in radio. Is you, there you, a fullback that jumps out to you right now? I, I think you got to look at Cal Huschek. They have him cutting defensive linemen. He's running on – he's blocking safeties. He's catching the ball. He'll do bend back plays. They'll do power. They line him up and he – Is he, he more of an H-back though? He, you know what? No, because actually I, I, you got to – if you can watch the last game against the Steelers, he was the point of attack. They would do the rap play where yeah. he's on. He's lined up on the defensive end. Right. They would wham where he's whamming the, the three technique. Right, right. He's playing fullback, getting downhill. First play of the game, he comes at the inside linebacker and drives him five yards down the foot and pancakes him. Yeah. He, so I, I like what he's doing. Uh, there's another guy on the Niners that I love, Quan Alexander. Watch the way that he plays. He was in Tampa. Okay. This backer, he'll hit you. He's not afraid. He loves contact. There, there are some guys that still oh, play well, the you're, game. You're talking either side of the ball. Yeah, yeah no, no, side no, of the ball. I know about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll, yeah. He'll, get, he'll get after it. So there are some guys out there that love contact, that aren't afraid of contact, that still want to, still want to hit guys. But if you're talking about fullbacks, I, I love, I, I just love what he, what he's checked bring to the yeah. game. Yeah. So he's leading the league right now in fullback assists. It's a stat that we came up with, which you, oh. got, you guys didn't have back when you played. No, what is that about? stat? Yeah, tell so, us that so, stat. Yeah, so, so we'd <laughs> love to hear about this one. I'd love to tell you about Please. it. Please. So we, we figured that there's all these stats out here for receivers, for running backs, quarterbacks. For a fullback, you don't really have anything that shows up at the end of the day if you did a good job, if you helped out on a touchdown. So we came up with a stat yeah. inside the five-yard line, a rush that's five yards or shorter. If there's a fullback that's in the backfield that makes a block on a rushing touchdown, they get an assist. So it counts so as can a you fullback go on, assist. Can you go on a, in my 12 years and go back to my – Yeah, we'll do we'll, that. We'll, have, we'll yeah. have our stats department get on it. Because uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd actually like to know who the all-time leader in fullback yeah. assists is. I know last year it was Roosevelt Knicks during the regular season for Pittsburgh, but then Devlin had like seven in the playoffs. So if you don't count the playoffs, it was Knicks. If you count the playoffs, it was definitely Devlin. Wow. Uh, but right now, Juice Check has, I think, four. Did you, you pass that stat? Did you pass that yet? Yeah. Uh, how do you patent? You? Yes, right now considered patent. Yeah, okay, Can you get us the film? That's the problem is we don't have all the Bucks film. Ah, uh, the NFL films. I'll get the it to you. You get it for us? Yeah, no problem. We should have yeah, Stephen Che. Yeah, we that. absolutely. We, we have, have a you guy. Know, you got people. We, we, have, have, we have a Bucks guy. We have a super fan uh, who he breaks down film for the Bucks by himself. Like he's just he's a weirdo. Yeah. But yeah, he he will he'll watch every play. He is. I mean, he's. He's we can doing it as like a hobby. For, you might, like he does has like five. I like that. Followers. I mean, I, I'd like to know between the two of you who had them. I I think it might be low. Considering no, no, the, no, no, no question. Because I was I was dotting the eye. You were scoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were scoring. Like I say, I'll dot nine. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's pretty, hell you know, yeah. Yeah. He's, no, he's, I mean he was the people. Rhino package. You know, exactly. we, 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 right. I, I was following him. There's no question about it. Yeah. I just had an idea to help you guys get in the Hall of Fame. I like the idea of the fullback position. Yeah, just the whole position. So the key to like winning over the hearts and minds of sports writers is to somehow get. Bruce Springsteen involved because they all fucking love Bruce Springsteen. Mm -hmm. uh, if we could get Bruce to write a song about a fullback, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah that, that that's right cool. up his. That's up at Bruce's alley. He writes a song about factory workers. We can even up. get John he's, he's on your speed dial, right? Do yeah, don't you got me speed dial? Yeah. yeah, we could. I'm sure we know somebody. Peter King knows. Bruce. Yeah, yeah, he's a good sure. friend of ours for sure. Uh, or I can just, yeah, I can write the song and then send it to Bruce and ask him to record yeah, it. Yeah, just please. Can, just you, please can you give us a couple? You, you know can, you'll can, get five cents. You write it, I'll sing right? it. I, It'll be I, called Low Man Wins. That's, yeah. Oh, how about I, that? Oh, my goodness. Are you Low guys, Man Wins. Are you, are you guys now going to be part of our panel for our yearly trophy? Because oh, yeah. you, you snubbed us last year. We gave Ooh. out the Low Man trophy. He the snubbed you? fullback in, the, in college. Both it's of a, you guys. The trophy is we, just we a both tire. Yeah, it's a tire. I just heard about this. I snubbed you. With a beer can. I love it. Nailed into it. 
And I think PFT reached out to you, Low, last year to be on the Fun. panel, and you said no. Fun. No, 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 no. Maybe Are you not. serious? Maybe I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving no, it up. No, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I tweeted at you at some yeah. point. Mike, you don't have it, social it, media. Yeah. So it, it goes, back to, that, it goes back to that fun comment. Let's, yeah. All right, we're, you're in. We're, we're, no, <laughs> so you'll be part of the voters. <laughs> we yeah. would absolutely love to. I'll get. You know what? The thing about it is we'll get all – we – Mike and I, we'll get on all the full. We'll get you guys a bunch of fullbacks to vote for you. Yes. Committee so, all right, so right now. Got it. We've yeah. got, we have actually. I think, when he, said, hey, I think when Lowe said that, he was like. we got it. We got it. Like, got it. it. We're in. Yeah. You're going to kidnap the fullbacks and bring them to us. Yeah, pick them like, up. I mean, like he's like, we'll like get you fullbacks. He's going to show up with just no, a just, fucking truck full of just, fullbacks. No, just me and Mike. Just call me. I won't see your tweet. Just call me. You're going to pick up a greased up John Coon and drop him off at our door. You're in. So we are got, right now we've got you two. Uh, Anthony Sherman, John Kuhn. Uh, who else am I missing out on? A lot of people. Uh, Danny Vitale. Danny Vitale. Danny. Tom Fernelli, aka yep. Hank. Yeah. Um, hey, you will have a forty Vate jersey. Leach I want it hung up right up there. You understand? Yeah. I want yeah, it yeah, up yeah. on that top so shelf. We got, okay. we got, oh, there it is. There we it got is. your jersey. We got Sherman. But you need a real and then jersey. You, you need, need all of those. That's, that's a replica. That's my jersey because I'm a fullback. We in need Lorenzo Reels. A lot of people compare me to you guys. All of them. Um, all right, is I that that one... soccer league? What is it? No, it's rugby. So oh. I play rugby. I play. F- I used to play fullback, not to brag, but a lot of people I said that I. <laughs> no, we're like, you, like you, you in the scrum and stuff like that. I'm around. I'm, I'm around the scrum. I'm <laughs> scrum adjacent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm nearby. So you're the guy that they <laughs> toss the ball back. I'm the guy that that they point at and then run over. <laughs> They're like, "That's my bitch." And yeah. Then, yeah. Then I wind up on my back. Um. All right. I have one last question. It's a SeatGeek question. Put in promo code Take. You get ten dollars off SeatGeek. How many times, you guys? Who's gonna win this bench off? Oh, not me. Him. Come on. Who's it's only 140, 135, 135? 135, yeah. yeah. A couple who's, plates. Who's going to wh- – what numbers are we putting up? What do we think? What's a fair number? We're not going to try to get injured, but what do we think? Oh, we're I'm already put injured. Up? I'm on IR. Right oh, now. come <laughs> on, What do you got, a shoulder, a labrum? <laughs> I do. I do have a couple uh, bulging discs in my neck that's making you my delts. You got rods, don't you? Got a, don't you got rods I got uh, some uh, nerve damage going into my uh, shoulder. Boom. But I, 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 I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> okay. I'm on it. Big Cat nerve got to buy a dog. No, no, no. Nerve damage. Damn, that sounds so... I me and Big Cat. My toe me and Big day. Cat. All right. Me and Big Cat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My I, arms are too long. Mike is still, that's my problem. Mike is still pissed off about the tall. Purdue comment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was, a, that was a funny joke, but you had such... Little fun that you didn't even understand the joke. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you in seventy. All right, I I have a long going. I went to the University of Wisconsin, so I have a long going thing with Purdue, and people get very mad about that. But it's a fun. So you joke. went like a decade after me, right? Uh, yeah, two thousand three to two thousand seven. Okay, yeah, yeah. So when Purdue, well, no, you guys never have been really good. So <laughs> yes, I had two hundred and five yards against Washington. Ooh, I mean, Wisconsin, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Okay. Two hundred five. Yeah. That was a pretty good day. It's not yes. nice. I take yeah. that. Two hundred seven. What year was that? Two hundred five. Uh, 94. That 90, was 95, excuse me, 95. Okay, yeah, yeah. 95. That's pretty sick. That that's, is that's Big Ten big football day. through and through. No, it is. There's it nothing is. better that's than That's all we did is run the ball. So, yeah. I mean, that's all you should do in Big Ten. Yeah. Mike Allstott and Neil Armstrong. That's yeah. all you think about when you think about Purdue, right? Yes. Now you got Drew. Oh, yeah, Drew, Drew Brees. That's true. Yeah. 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 And then, uh, yeah, Robbie Rod- Hummel. How about a bunch of How about Rod Woodson? Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson. Yeah. Then and then you got quarterback. And you got junior quarterback. Yeah, you got junior ne- coming yeah, out. Who, who, is it Lorenzo Neal Jr.? Yeah, yeah. Junior. Fuck yes. Yeah. yeah. What position is I, he that's, play? That's tackle. Thank God okay. you did that because Lorenzo's maybe the you know, coolest you know, name you know, of all time. You know, he's yeah. like yeah. he was in a pre-draft. I would say uh, preseason pre-draft fifteen. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. I love Damn. it. Wait, the world needs another Lorenzo Neal. I mean, it is the, the coolest thing. Lorenzo Neal. Well, that, that's no, you don't understand. It is the coolest thing having kids succeed after you, and it's the most nerve wracking thing, though. You know, I'm a father, so yeah, I know. I mean, it's He's the most nerve wracking thing. I got, when you see your kid, yeah, thank you. I got a dog. When, when, you, when you see your kid, <laughs> you, you know, do news. such great things. You know, I, I'm getting goosebumps on it right now. Yeah, I mean, me just because. You have no control, but you're scared. You're, you're scared shitless. I mean, you really are. My kid puked on me the other day. That's it was awesome. fucking awesome, dude. Son, awesome. Like, dude, good son, job, oh, son. son. Yeah, oh, yeah. So wait, good job. You didn't, you, 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 I puked back on him. him. Yeah. No, it was like a father son. <laughs> did you rally? Thing. You know, I puked Went all right over back his to the face. milk. Yeah, right. Like, Go back to the milk, <laughs> bro. Bro, <laughs> rally, gotta rally, bro. All right, let's let's do this bench press thing. Yes. Here. Thank you guys. Uh, it's been so awesome. Pull back Friday. Yeah. And you're on the committee now, and we're gonna get you the whole thing.